That's very good morning. Hopefully you can hear the pitter or patter of the rain. It's a really rainy, crappy Saturday, so what's better than going to get some breakfast on a morning like this? So this, that's where we're off to, to go get some breakfast. I wanted to check out this little place, because um, like the big boys obviously will be really packed because it's a crappy Saturday morning. Um, but with her, I wanted to take her to a more quiet place. So. There's this kind of new place um, that I want to check out. So that's where we're going to head off to now. Um, sorry, sorry about yesterday's vlog. It kind of just like stopped. <laughs> um, and the reason for that is I ran out of space on my phone. And I just never had an opportunity to like transfer all my videos to my computer so I could take them off my phone. So I wanted to keep vlogging yesterday, but I just didn't have the opportunity to. Um, but you really didn't miss anything. Um, we didn't end up putting our tree up. Um, it was funny because uh, last night I went out to go pick us up some dinner. And I went to my favorite uh, pasta shop, um, the Papaginos place. And this guy struck up a conversation with me. And at first it was definite flirting. I mean, he admitted <laughs> to it. You know, he was interested, but, you know, he quickly learned that I was married and had a baby and stuff, but it was just really nice talking to him, and I, I found out that he was um, a TV productions teacher, which is so funny because I had taken TV productions in high school, and I still talk to my teacher to this day, and you okay, baby? You drinking too fast? Um... Yeah, so it was really interesting, and we shared a common interest, and I gave him my YouTube channel. What, Bob? I gave him my YouTube channel, so I'm not sure if he's watching, but if you are, Chris, hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was awesome, but it I was at Papa Gino's a lot longer than I intended to. Like, literally, I think two hours went by with just a conversation, so um, there really wasn't a whole lot to vlog anyways. What I really wanted was to vlog the Christmas tree going up, but we didn't end up doing it, um, which is fine. I actually think I want to save it for a Vlogmas day. Like, once we're in Vlogmas, um, that's where I really want to start the Christmas stuff, so maybe like Vlogmas day one, we'll put up the Christmas tree or something, so I'll talk to TJ about that and see what he thinks. Um, there's also a festival of trees that I want to go to, but again, I kind of all, I want to wait until Vlogmas actually starts. So there's only a couple days left in November, which I'm so excited about. Yeah, I'm so excited for December, which I normally wouldn't say because of the snow, but I love this time of year. I love like the whole preparation of Christmas. It's just like, oh, such a good feeling. I don't know. It's awesome. I, I, you know how it feels, like the holiday spirit and cheer is awesome. Oh, oh no, I didn't pass it. I, I thought I drove by the place already. It's actually very close um, to where I live, but uh, yeah, so I mean, that's all that happened yesterday. I, I'm trying to think back to what the heck happened yesterday in case there's something that I need to talk about that I didn't touch on yet? I really don't think so. I epilated again yesterday. And it hurt. You know what though? I, I should update you guys about that because I've been doing a little bit every single day because to me to do it all at once is just excruciatingly painful. But the areas that I went over a second time um, that, you know, I went over once that first day, um, but I kind of missed a couple hairs, so I went over the area again. And the area that I had already gone over with the epilator really didn't hurt like nearly as bad. So that gives me hope. I'm hoping that, you know, the first time is the worst, and then the more you use it, um, you know, the less it'll, you know, the less painful it'll, this guy is driving so slow, um, the less painful that it'll be. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, the more and more I epilate. You know what? Oh, I'm like, I don't know how to get into this place. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to hold an umbrella and put a baby into a car seat. Oh, I got wet. I was trying um, to not get my hair wet because I just straightened it. <coughs> Easy, baby. Um, <clears throat> but we're just leaving. Are you not going to let me vlog? Is that happening right now? Huh, Ella? 
Um, we're, we're just leaving breakfast now. Okay, go fuck myself. All right. We are finally back home. Um, we went out to breakfast, which I'll be totally honest with you guys, it really wasn't good. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, no, I don't think so. Uh-uh, you let go of that. You let go of that. No. 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 Ugh, ever since I put in that shelf into our kitchen, she's been wanting to pull everything off of it, which I didn't keep in mind <laughs> when I did the shelf, which kind of sucks because now she's trying to get into everything, but she's quickly learning not to. Um, but yeah, so we went out to breakfast and I ordered a Irish Benedict, so it was, um, what the heck was it? It was in two English muffins topped with hash, like beef hash. You can look, but you can't touch beef hash, hollandaise, and two poached eggs, which sounds delicious, right? But it it came to my table. Oh, and I ordered a pancake. By the way, that pancake that I showed you guys, how half of it was missing, I didn't touch that pancake. That was all Ella. She ate like half of that gigantic pancake. I had to take a picture of it. No. Thank you. Ah, ah. Fingers count. No touchy. No touchy. No. Um, sounds delicious, right? But then I went to, like, I had my plate and it had a weird smell, which I should have not eaten it at all. But then I started eating it and I'm like, oh, this just isn't really good. I only got, like, a couple bites through it and I was totally done, so won't be going back there. <laughs> um, but I decided, because we're on our way home and we're passing the grocery store, so I'm like, well... We need milk, we need a few basic things, so I stopped in and we did a little bit of grocery shopping. I think I spent like 50 bucks or something um, on getting groceries. Um, they're actually still out in the car. I gotta go get them. Um, but I wanted to show you guys because I went to a thrift store yesterday and I got her a few toys. So I got her, I got her a bunch of books, like a stack of books. It was a sale, like buy four, get the fifth one free and they were only a dollar each. So I got her like maybe eight books um no maybe 10 because i did the sale so i think about 10 books and then i got her a bunch of magnetic letters that she can play with and then i got her she hasn't seen this yet but she loves pocket books and i have to put new batteries in it because it's supposed to do stuff ella look oh she's got a big smile on her face come here baby Come on, look at the fucking book, Mama got you. Oh, it's heavier than you think, boo. Um, yeah, I got her that, and then I got her two little toy cars. I gotta wash both of these cars. I've already wiped down the pocketbook, um, but these cars are a little bit dirty on the inside, but they're for, like, those little people. People. <laughs> um, but I got her a pink, and I got her a purple one that has one of her socks in it. <laughs> It has a sock in it. That's her sock, don't worry. Um, but I got her two little cars that she can play with. But again, I want to wash these up before I give them to her. So I'll throw them right in my sink. Um, and that's all I got at the thrift store. To be totally honest, it was pretty ransacked. I don't know if it was because we went on Black Friday. But there really wasn't a whole lot to choose from. Um, I think that's... I felt like I had to come in and like tell you guys this whole life story, but I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go back out. It's rainy out. It's so crappy. But I'm going to go back out and bring in some of our gro my groceries. And i got to unpack a little bit and organize a little bit. And so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> got everything inside successfully. My poor hair. I'm probably going to have to straighten it again. It's already starting to <sighs> curl. I hate rainy days because of this. Um, but yeah, so I just brought in all my groceries, so picked up some milk. Oh, why the hell is it so dirty? Oh, because it got wet and then my car floor is dirty, so. Whoops, I gotta wipe that off. <laughs> that was really gross. I was like, why is that so dirty? Um, and then I got some fresh flowers, because fresh flowers always make me happy. And I don't buy them often, so I wanted to put this up on my vanity. And then, let's see what else we got. Keep in mind that this is not like grocery, grocery shopping. It was like picking up the basics of things that I've run out <laughs> grocery shopping. So I picked up some Friendly's ice cream. And then, oh, this is actually really interesting. So I saw this in the ice cream section. It's, it's from Tal, Talenti. 
Caliente, but it's, um, oh, it's gelato. Caramel cookie crunch. This bitch was expensive. This was probably like four bucks for this little guy. So, I mean, it wasn't like something that I was like, yeah, I want to buy this all the time. It was like more so I just want to try it and see like why it's so expensive. <laughs> so I want to give that a try. So I'll leave that out. And then I picked up some more animal crackers because I lost the lid to the other one. So they went bad. Um, I also picked up some Quaker Chewies, which are the chocolate chip kind. These are really, really good for snacking. And I, I, I'm not going to pick it up. It's heavy, but I got a can of Coke. And then let's see what else. I got some Simply Lemonade. I love this stuff. I got some fluff for my hot chocolates, which I might make one this morning because I'm kind of craving one. And well, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, let's see what else. I picked up Ella some juice. I got a V8, the pomegranate blueberry, and then just some beans. And then I picked up this, which I'll leave. Ooh, I'll leave these two items aside to talk about it in a minute. Um, and then I got just got some mini waffles to leave in the freezer. Woo! Ow! Uh, fucking landed on my foot. Um, picked up some syrup, Aunt Jemima syrup, some juice boxes, and uh, oh, really random, but I really wanted some watermelon, so I picked up some watermelon spears, they're called, and and here's just a bunch of yogurts. I got some of the plain vanilla and I got a couple of the whipped chocolate. So that is it. Um, but let me show you real quick. Where is, so I had this idea of a hot chocolate with a tiny bit of vanilla caramel um, sweetener inside and then topped with fluff. And then on top of the fluff, I put the caramel sauce. It sounded so good to me, so I'm actually gonna make that right now because I'm so excited. I hope it tastes as good as it sounds. So we we are gonna find out together. I am so mad. I could have sworn that I had hot chocolate mix, but I organized everything yesterday and I don't remember picking up a hot chocolate mix, which makes me think that I used the last of it, but I really, really, really don't think I did. And what's even more frustrating is I was just at the fucking store, so, well, hmm. I'm not a huge fan of coffee, to be totally honest, but I do have this Dunkin's dark roast, or French roast, I'm sorry, that I can give a try. But yeah, I don't see, I don't see it. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> I don't even think I can make the coffee because I can't find the little cake, like the empty cake cups, the refillable cake cups that I bought. Um, I can't find those either because I haven't used them in a very long time, so that blows. So we can't try that today. I'll just have to pick up hot chocolate maybe later today or tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I really do want to give that a try, but can't do it today. So instead, why don't we try this gelato stuff? And I'm wondering if it's so expensive because it's gelato and not ice cream. I feel, I don't know, I feel like gelato is just more expensive to make. Uh, maybe not. I don't know, but I need a spoon. And does it twist off? Oh, I love the packaging. I'm not going to lie. Like, the packaging is everything. But this is what, come on, focus. I know it's a little bit, okay, there we go. So it's like, a, this is in the flavor caramel cookie crunch. So let's give this a try. Gonna try. Ooh, it's nice and soft. Like it's not too frozen. Ooh, girl. Mmm. Oh no. Oh no. Mmm. This is bomb. Mmm. Damn. I know it's only 10:30, but damn. Mmm. That is really, really, really good. I'm gonna save this. <laughs> um, they also had a um, coffee scented, coffee scented, coffee flavor of ice cream, of gelato. 
which sounded really, really good. I don't like coffee in general. Like, I like the really sweet stuff at Starbucks, but I don't like, like, an actual coffee. Um, but I like coffee flavored things as well. But this is so, so good. So I'll show you the packaging again if you ever want to give it a try. Um, like I said, it's definitely more expensive than... You know, I think I got this for like three fifty, and this was like four something. <laughs> so it's definitely expensive, but I think it's like a good once in a great while sort of treat. You know what I mean? I'm gonna throw that in the freezer. I'm gonna have my husband try that when we get home, and unfortunately, we're probably both gonna get hooked on it. <laughs> um, but I also want to try this watermelon because I've never tried. Um, this is from Walmart, and I've never tried any of their, like, fruits like this, and I don't know how fresh they are, so, um, I want to give it a try and see if I like it, because I love watermelon, and I think they sell them like this all year round. Can you hear her toys in the background? Probably. <laughs> She's in the living room right now. It was funny because I went out, like I left her in the kitchen and I went outside to grab the bags and she followed me outside onto the porch and her socks got soaking wet and I'm like, ah, no, so I had to run upstairs and change her, but I want to give this watermelon a try. Mmm. What are you throwing stuff for? Mmm, mmm, mmm. You want a piece, baby? Mmm, this is good. You're really good. Walmart. You've impressed me today. Here, yeah, look. No, 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 no. Try it. It's good. Hello. Mama's gonna eat it if you don't want it. Oh, fine. It's good. What if you come in here and try it? Come on. I don't know if you like watermelon, and I want to find out. Come on, watch your step. Good girl. Alright. Maybe now she'll try. Because <laughs> she'll get mad if I'm not, like, letting her in, in the kitchen. She'll get mad and then walk away. No, we don't want to go in the cabinet. There's nothing in there but soaps. So, yeah. Look. Yeah. Give it a try. Can you take it from the fork, please? Or put it in your mouth? Ella, I need you to do something with this, babe. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna like stab it with a fork and give it to her like that. Here, she's trying to be Miss Independent now. Oh, by the way, I changed. Um, I don't know if you guys know that I have these, but these are from Bath and Body Works, and you can buy these individual soap like dispensers. And this, I changed it to sunlight and apple trees. It was it was backwards on the camera so I didn't know what it was saying. Um, but I had a whole bunch of them that I showed a while ago. Um, before that I had in the Peach Bellini which is one of my favorite scents and I had Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin for around October. So now I switched it again to an apple scent. Oh baby. Go ahead and probably finish eating my watermelon. I gotta call my father-in-law back. He sent me a text message asking me to call him and I don't know what could possibly be what he wants. I don't know. So I'm going to call and make sure everything's okay. Now I'll put my groceries away. I don't know what we're going to do today because it's so rainy. I, I kind of wanted to start on my Christmas shopping a little bit. Like I might go to Express Men and get a gift card um, for one of my pre Like I know one of my brothers really likes Express um, the other people I don't really <laughs> have an idea for yet, so I really need to start chipping away at my Christmas shopping pronto. Unfortunately, I forgot a few things at the store while I was there, so we need to head back, and I need hot chocolate, <laughs> uh, laundry soap, because I have a load of laundry out in my car right now waiting to be cleaned. I have to run to the dry cleaners and diapers. <laughs> I knew if I looked at her, it would remind me because that had something to do with her. Um, but we're almost out of diapers, so I gotta pick those up. What, baby? I'm grabbing your juice, little mama. And then we'll go. Um, I really wanted to go to a Christmas festival type of thing. Whoops. Uh, that starts at 5 o'clock tonight, but it's still raining outside, so I wouldn't mind if it was just, like, cold 
um, but because it's raining, it's kind of shitty. So I don't think we'll be doing that tonight, um, but hopefully when my husband gets home in a couple hours, um, we can maybe find something to do. I don't know. I'm hoping to kill some time while we're out. So I gotta run to Walmart, gotta go to the dry cleaners. I don't know. Maybe we'll just run out and like grab a snack. I don't know. I'm kind of hungry, but I need to button up my coat. I also need to bring my two white coats to the dry cleaners because both of them are getting kind of dirty and one of the buttons popped off in this one. Ella, what? You need to come here and grab your juice, babe. Um, come here. What are you doing? Come. Look, I got your juice. Come here. I got juice. Oh, she woke up cranky. Miserable, miserable day. It is 3.30 and it's so dark and so muggy and so rainy and it really sucks. Look at all the rain and the pile of my trash my husband has to throw out. <laughs> Go get me the hell out of here. I'm looking at the laundry soap right now, but like everybody's just in the way. It's really annoying. But why are they so goddamn expensive? Walmart was absolute hell. It's a Saturday night and it was so busy and everybody was just like standing in the middle of the freaking um, aisles. I was like, can you please move? Hold on, I got a green light. Yeah, so um, right after Walmart, we went over to the dry cleaners, and it was so funny because instead of bringing my usual um, like basketfuls of laundry, because it was way too much laundry, I took a laundry basket instead, and I filled that up. And I, I had Ella, and it was just me, so I stuck her in the basket too when I was going inside. And like everybody inside got a real kick out of it, but. I, I was like, you know, I, I'm like, mom's got to get stuff done. I can't, you know, not do laundry. And they all laughed, whoever was inside and stuff. There's a young couple who got a kick out of it. I'm like, you got to do what you got to do. But I got my laundry in the washer, and my husband called me um, as well and was like, I'm on my way home, but I got to go to the mall to get some Christmas gifts. And I'm like, okay, that works. So we'll, we'll be going there with him when he gets home in a little bit. Ah! Alright guys, I am off to the gym, so I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog here, here, today, I almost said today twice, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching, as usual, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!